Good Thank afternoon, you. everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Land Use. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your videos. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. If you wish to submit testimony, you may do so at land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Again, that's land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Salamanca, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca. I am the chair of, the, of this committee. I would like to welcome my colleagues who have joined us today. We are joined by Council Members Adams, Ayala, Barelli, Diaz Sr., Feliz, Ku, Chair Moya, Reynoso, Chair Riley, Rivera, and Council Member Brooke Powers. I would also want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Riley for their work on our two subcommittees. Today, we will vote on a number of applications referred out from our subcommittees. Before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedure. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should be appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you, Council. From our Landmark Subcommittee, we will vote to approve three applications submitted by the Landmarks Preservation Commission. The first is LUs 829, the Landmark Preservation Commission designation of the New York Public Library, Harlem Branch, as an historic landmark. The landmark site is located at 9 West 124th Street in Manhattan in council member, in council district represented by council member Perkins. This library is one of 67 circulating libraries constructed for the city, three public library systems in the early 20th century. Since its construction, the Harlem branch has served as an important civic space for, for the neighborhood with a variety of resources and programs, as well as providing space for civic and cultural activities, which in the late 1930s included a community theater. Intended by its designer to be easily recognizable as an important civic institution, the Harlem branch has continuously served in South Central Harlem community as a place for educational resources, civic engagement, and cultural enrichment. We will also vote to approve LUs 830, the landmark designation of the Akawaxan Munahangan Archaeological Site. The site is located at 298-300 Satcherly Street in Staten Island in Council Member Borelli's district and is also within the city's conference house park. The site is associated with over 8,000 years of occupation by indigenous people. It contains the region's best preserved known cultural complex associated with the indigenous presence in New York City. We will also vote to approve LUs 831, the Landmark Preservation Commission designation of the Kim Lau War Memorial as a historic landmark. The landmark site is located in Kim Lau Square in Chatham Square in the Manhattan Council District represented by Council Member Chin. The memorials honors Chinese American soldiers who died in action during World War II. It pays tribute to the Chinese American patriots and has served as an important community monument for nearly 60 years. From our zoning subcommittees, we will vote to approve the modifications LUs 829 and 827 for the 840 Atlantic Avenue rezoning, seeking a zoning map amendment and a related zoning text amendment for property in Council Member Combo's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment and a related zoning text amendment to facilitate the development of a new mixed use residential development with commercial and community facility space. A modification will establish transition areas down from this unique corner site. The original proposal, the original Proposed C6-3X zoning district will be maintained only at the corner of the two white streets, Atlantic Avenue and Vanderbilt Avenue, as this site is uniquely appropriate for higher density. Further east along Atlantic from this corner site, the eastmost 50 feet of the rezoning area will be modified to a C6-2A district to establish consist consistency with the M Crown Community Plan Framework developed in, co in cooperation between Community Board 8 and the Department of City Planning. That 
framework calls for higher density, specifically at the corner of Vanderbilt and Atlantic Avenue, which is in close proximity to the high density Pacific Park development to the west, along with the lower, lower density going east along the Atlantic corridor to match the medium density character of Bedford Stuyvesant and Crown Heights. On Vanderbilt Avenue, the south portion of the rezoning area will be modified to a C6 3A district to establish a transition to the historic lower density character of, of Pacific Street and Vanderbilt Avenue to the south, also in line with the M Crown Community Plan framework. In addition, the MIH tax amendment will be modified to strike option two and add option one and the deep affordability option. Council members who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button. Council, will you announce members in the order that they've raised their hands? All right, seeing none, I will call to vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and local council members and vote and note that a vote of aye on all will be to adopt the following. To approve LUs 829, 830, 831, and to approve modifications, I have described LUs 826 and 827. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good afternoon, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Ku. Aye. You. Levin. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Thank you. Traeger. Aye. Thank you. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Ayala. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz, Sr. Si en todo. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Moya. Continue now with another musical I vote aye. Rivera. I vote aye. Councilmember Riley? I vote I don't know. Thank you, sir. Brooks Powers. I vote I on all. Thank you. Feliz. I on all. Thank you. Borelli. I vote I, thank you. Barron. Uh, I vote aye on the landmarks and I vote no on the others. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, one moment. Gibson. I vote aye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. One second, please. Okay, all items on today's land use agenda have been adopted by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with the exceptions of land use items 826 and 827, which are adopted by the committee 16 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and zero abstentions. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.